what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA Robocop Ultimate Battle Damage with Chair Figure. Now this was already released like a few months ago so it's available at places like uh, so like Big Bad Toy Store or like uh, Entertainment Earth and so on. So yeah I'm definitely excited about having this and I would have been I picked this up but it was like so, so much other stuff that I was like you know trying to get. And plus at first it was kind of you know because ever since like the COVID situation happened it was kind of hard to pick up like certain figures and so on like a lot of the NECA figures were kind of hard to get to and so on you know you had to wait for them to put them up on certain websites and so on so that's what kind of like threw me off and kind of delayed me eventually uh, picking this particular figure on that but I must admit I'm definitely excited about uh, having this particular figure and I still recall seeing like the original Robocop back in uh, 1987 at a drive-in theater so yeah <laughs> I do have fond memories of this particular film. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this uh, right now. As you can see, this is the box that contains the figure. You can see like uh, the Battle Damage Robocop inside with its accessories and does have Robocop right there. Uh, it says uh, Omni Consumer Products for the Future of Law Enforcement right there. OCP logo on the side. Of course, you know it has it right on the back, on the on the side right here too as well, and you can see images of the figure and so on. I can search this right there on the back too as well. And it has that at the top. I like this packaging too, though, for this right here. It also says that this uh at the top it says includes Auto Nine, Blast Effect, Mechanical Chair, Data Spike, Right Hand. And interchangeable heads. I like this packaging that uh, NECA did for this. And I got this from a uh, big bad toy store too, by the way, so it's like available there, you know, at other places like Entertainment Earth and so on. Uh, and this is the, uh, the background that comes with it, which has a, sh a shot of uh, Detroit and so on. Pretty cool. Uh, hey, there's the NECA. Ultimate Battle Damage Robocop figure. So what I'm gonna do first is measure this. And Robocop is like right at like seven inches. Like right at it. So what I do now is talk about the likeness to the film and like the articulation of the figure and so on. So yeah, I must admit this is a uh, a very awesome looking figure from NECA. Now NECA did previously release a Battle Damage uh, Robocop figure before like this but we didn't have like the alternate head with uh, the likeness of uh, Murphy or Peter Weller. So that's, that's one of the new things about this particular version. But it is nice how you can see all like, the Battle Damage wares and so on. Oh him. It really looks cool. So as you see, this is a better like look at it. Uh, he looks all like the uh, wear and like the battle damage effects and so on. Painting looks really nice. You can still see like OCP up here too around the helmet. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. The old copy has like the battle damage like right there on his uh, helmet too. Cause you know in the film room you can see his eye. I think it's battling uh, Air 209. It's done really nice. Now I know his head can uh, turn like left, right. He can't really look up too much, but he can like look down as you can see. Your move, creep. Then like his arms, that they can go up to about right here. And his legs can like split too as well. But not too much, you know. He does have a bend in the leg. Then he also had these, like right here on the back. I think they call them pistons. I heard that those gonna break too, like if you're not careful. So I think that's pretty cool. And of course, he does have a bend, like in the arm right here. I don't want to force it though, but you know, like his arms can like bend right there. They kind of like tight. He can kind of like an ab crunch too. Kind of know if anything, you probably have to loosen it. And I noticed that the hands could be still kind of stiff on these too. It's like it's hard to uh, to turn them. <laughs> it's like you have to loosen them. 
But I think it's still like overall like a uh, solid like figure though. It's pretty cool. It just has like some stiffness into it. But Roll Cop is the kind of uh, like you know, I guess you could say like, character that would be like stiff and so on. He wouldn't really make any kind of like wild type like movements and so on. But I think it still is like a, uh, a awesome uh, figure. I think Nick already did a uh, design. It's uh, pretty good and he does stand too as you can see. <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about too before I move into the accessories. Robocop doesn't have like his uh, leg holster red right, too as you can see. This particular battle damage one doesn't have where you can put Robocop's Auto 9 in there. But I heard the previous version of this figure was designed like that too as well. Robocop didn't have the uh, the battle damage effect. I mean, uh, well, you know, holster on his. I mean, yeah, uh, he didn't have the gun holster on his uh, leg on the battle damage version. Now here, this right here is like his Auto 9 pistol, as you can see. Very massive gun have a lot of girth. <laughs> it's real thick. <laughs> he also has like this cool blast effect too, which also came with like the other Ultimate Robocop figure. It's like this translucent like blast effect, which looks pretty cool because what you would do then is if you look right here on the inside, there's like a slot right there where you can stick the uh the blaster, I mean or the gun into at the auto line. You gotta find the right way to do it too, cause it'll just stick right on there. And that's the effect of like the blast, like if it's shooting. Looks pretty cool. Like it's shooting. Drop it. I must admit, I was surprised that uh, Robocop's uh, hand swapped out so easy. I didn't have to loosen it, cause right there, as you can see, is the, uh, the data uh, spike. So it, it removes off his hand pretty easy, which I was surprised about. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, it, it pops out pretty easy, which is kind of surprising. <laughs> then it goes right back in. I'm surprised at that. So yeah, I'm just showing like the uh, the data spec. And here's like a, uh, a better look at it too as well. Because you also get this with the other uh, Ultimate Robocop too as well. These particular accessories. And this where is like the... Uh, Next accessory that comes with the uh, figure, which is the uh, Alex Murphy head sculpt. I don't think it's a, a great likeness to uh, Peter Weller. I still like how you can see even like the bullet hole up there. So I think that's pretty cool. But I think it does like resemble him, in my opinion. It's a good uh, likeness. Of course, this is the back of it too, as well. Now I want to move on to the last, and I guess the big accessory. Uh, this particular piece where I even uh, remove uh, Robocop's uh, alternate head, I mean put on his alternate head like the Alex Murphy head sculpt. Again, I think that's a pretty great likeness to uh, Peter Weller. But yeah, now I want to just touch on the uh, the chair itself, which is actually like another separate piece. So I'm move this to the, uh, the side too real quick. So yeah, this right is like the, uh, the mechanical, ch I mean where the chair itself which is done very good. I think they did a pretty good job because they even had like, these like wheels underneath. Now they're not like realistic wheels, but the way it's designed, like you can see it kind of can like just roll around. So I think that's pretty cool. Like it could slide around. I think this is an awesome piece too. I'm surprised that like at at our at our how articulated this is too as well. You also have like the monitors up here that can monitor like Robocop. So I think that's pretty cool. I think what they have there is just like a sticker effect because you can see them right there. Because these are the things that monitor, I think, like what, like his functions and so on. So I think that's pretty cool. But I'm amazed at how articulated this is. Look at that. These can move and so on. So that's pretty cool how articulated these is. And it doesn't seem fragile, I must admit. Even this can uh, turn to as well. I know it's even a chair can uh see it can be turned like if you put roll cut bit it you can be turned all around. Of course of course it was turning anyway, you know. And then even the armrests, like these right here. These gonna uh, I think slide up and down if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can move these like back and forth like the armrests for him. So I think that's uh, pretty cool. And how articulated this is. Now this, there are some things that I wanted to touch on too with this uh 
particular piece too as well. But right now I'm gonna see if I can uh, cause I remember at first I was hearing that it was kind of hard to get Robocop to sit in this. From what I was here, I think I was kind of wrong now. Though. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, get him into it. And as you can see, here's Robocop sitting in the chair. That's one thing I do want to touch on. And I managed to, uh, he, he sits pretty easy, because I remember like, when it was the first, like, when it was first showing up, like, out there, people getting it, I was hearing that they couldn't sit him in and so on. But he does sit in, and you just about to, like, bend his knees and so on. That's all. But there is, like, one thing I wanted to touch on, too, about this that was dosing, which is kind of odd. But I kind of see why NECA had, uh, did, uh, design it this way, though. Because Robocop, when he's in this chair, he's never, like, battle damaged like that, you know? Once he got battle damage after fighting like Air 209 or so on, when we did see him sitting again, I think it was like at that, like that steel mill when he was with like Lois, you know, and they were sitting at the cusp when he took off his mask and so on and everything like that. And he was looking in the mirror and so on. That's, I guess, the only time, or the other time, you know, you could say that he's really sitting and he was like battle damaged like that, you know. He didn't want it like this and in this chair like that. So I think that's pretty cool. But I think what Neko was probably doing with this, then they decided to release this separate. Because it would have been more preferable if it came with like the actual standard ultimate battle uh, figure. I mean the ultimate uh, Robocop figure. Like for instance, this was the uh, the ultimate uh, battle damage. I mean not battle damage, but the ultimate Necro Robocop figure. Just like the standard one. This is the one that you really should say could be in this, this particular chair. Because he's like clean and so on and everything like that. But uh, I guess Neko, it would have been too expensive because this was kind of, I, I, I must have been kind of expensive, <laughs> you know, getting the, uh, the Robocop battle damage figure with the chair was much more than just getting like that standard ultimate release, you know. But yeah, it would have been better if it, uh, if the chair came with like, just the standard, like this particular version of Robocop. But it probably was just too expensive, you know, most people would have just preferred the standard like Robocop figure, you know, that's not battle damage or something. But I must admit, like I said before, that the chair seemed like it should have came with that. But it would have been more expensive, you know, people would have preferred this particular version of Robocop. So that's what I think NECA did. You can see that's probably what they did, just release the ultimate one by itself. And then if you wanted, like, the battle damage one, they could have even done the battle damage one, man. They probably could do that in future releases. Could release, like, the battle damage one by itself, you know, probably even get the chair by itself and so on, you know. But yeah, I think, I think this is still a pretty uh, awesome uh, piece of uh, NECA. This really is cool. Easy that be one of the top uh, pieces or accessories of the year. You can still like have Robocop, you can move him around and so on, as you can see. That is pretty cool. But I must admit, it probably be this particular version of Robocop that I probably really would like put in it, like the ultimate Robocop from NECA. That probably one that I really would put in this uh, particular uh, chair. But I still think it's amazing. <laughs> I want to compare my uh, Air 209. From NECA with this particular piece too as well so as you can see uh, here's the Air 209 uh, figure and this is pretty cool uh -huh. so yeah I would definitely recommend picking these on if you can uh, these are some awesome figures from NECA I believe some of the coolest stuff too that NECA has I really do believe these are some of like, the uh, coolest uh, figures like the Robocop all mm -hmm. okay that's the NECA Robocop Ultimate Battle Damage with Chair. I think this is an awesome accessory. It's kind of kind of expensive, I guess you could say. And I see why NECA did release it with this particular version of uh, Robocop. Because, you know, most people will want just a regular standard Ultimate Robocop figure that's not battle damage, you know. And if they had a chair included with that, it would have been kind of expensive, you know. So I see why NECA chose to decide to send it with this particular figure, even though you don't see Robocop like this in this, this particular chair. So yeah, I still think it's an awesome uh, piece of whatever. NECA did previously release like the battle damage version of this figure before. But I heard there were like some changes to the song, but we never did have like the chair or like the alternate head scope of uh, Alex Murphy, you know, with the likeness of Peter Werner. We never did have that, which I think they did a pretty good job on. But I think this is an uh, awesome set. I think this is like easy. One of like NECA's uh, best like, uh, like, you know, figures or set pieces or whatever that they have, you know. Just the Roll Cop line in general, you know, is there are not too many like figures besides like the ultimate Roll Cop Air 209 and this particular Roll Cop, you know. I still think that's a pretty cool. I know they have like the Roll Cop versus Terminator figures too, as well. But I think this is still a, a pretty solid a piece and easy one to top from a uh, NECA of the year, you know, from my opinion. And I know this is available like at places like a uh, Big Bad Toy Store, that's where I got mine. 
in places like uh, Entertainment Earth and so on. I think like in Target and so on, if you could find them and so on. Because that's why it kind of took a while for me to pick up this particular piece. Because I just had to wait for it to arrive and it just like showed up, you know. So I just like took my time, you know. But I'm glad I did definitely pick up this piece. Now I hope, and I hope that Kano Neca did at one point have a quarter scale version of the uh, the, uh, the uh, regular Robocop. I would love to see them bring back a quarter scale version, like just like the standard Robocop. That would be so awesome. If we can get like an update like quarter scale, you know, Mobile Cup, I really would be up for that. And like I mentioned before, I can still remember like the memories of going to see uh, the original Mobile Cup, like at, at the drive in theater. Yeah, I saw the <laughs> drive in, like movie theater back in uh, 1987. I can still remember that so well. I thought it was like an awesome film, you know. But anyway, I would definitely recommend picking this particular figure on up. So this is the NECA Robocop Ultimate Battle Damage with Chair. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too, as well. Dun <laughs>